Okay, here is a physics problem for you. Okay, so this picture, look at this picture. The red thing is a baseball player, and he throws two baseballs at the same time. You know, he's got two arms, so he can do it. Okay, and one of them he throws, and it goes to play the yellow player, and one goes to the cyan player, the blue player. And so here's the paths of the trajectories for the, both of those players. And so the question is, which player gets the ball first? And you may say, well, how fast do you throw it? I'm saying, well, look, there's a trajectory. So you just tell, you just answer the question. And that's that's how you do it. Okay, so I wrote this as a program and we can run it. But before we do that, I'm going to actually show you how to figure this out. Okay. Maybe you should check first. So what do you think? Go ahead and think. Pause it if you have to. Okay, maybe you paused it. Okay, so here is uh, what we're dealing with. So we have a ball and we shoot it at some angle theta with some initial velocity vector v0. I can find its x velocity at the start and its y velocity. And so the x velocity is going to be the v0 cosine theta and the y velocity is v0 sine theta. So that's right up here. But we don't really need, we, honestly, we don't, we don't need the x component. Okay. If I want to know how long this thing takes, the key to projectile motion is that the x motion and the y motion have the same time. So if I, I know the y motion goes up and back down, I can just use the y motion to determine how high it went and how long it took. Okay, so I skipped a step, but we can get this following kinematic equation. This is the uh, position as a function of time for some initial velocity. So this, where does it end up? And here's the initial y velocity, v0 sine theta. And the acceleration is g, uh, negative g, so I get this negative one half t squared. Now, if I want to find out how high it went, then this would be the time it takes to get to the highest point, and this is the starting velocity. But if I, if I don't really care about the actual height and I just want the time, I can use the definition of the velocity, definition of the acceleration, and that's this. So the final, I mean, this is the final velocity at the highest point, zero. This is the initial velocity minus the acceleration or plus acceleration times time, and the acceleration is negative g. So you see here, I can solve for the total time to go up and back down, and that's just twice this. Solve this for t and multiply it by two. So here you go. This is the time it takes to go back up and down, and it depends on the starting velocity. So the higher the initial y velocity, the longer it takes to go up and back down. That's it. All that depends on is initial y velocity. And the higher it goes, the greater the initial y velocity. Okay, So it takes longer and it goes higher. So with that, if it goes higher, it has to be in the air for longer because it doesn't matter about the, the x motion. Yes, the other the blue player is farther away, but it just doesn't matter because it has to go higher. Okay, so let's go back to the program. Um, here I have some code for you. This just makes a box. Actually, that doesn't use. I make point, this is point one, this is point two, this is point three, and then I have two balls. Okay, so those are the objects and gravity. Here, let me go ahead and run this. Watch, let's see what happens. So the blue one gets there first because it didn't go as high. Okay, so there you go, that's the answer. And, but we can play around with this even more. Because here you see I have them starting with the same initial velocity. So if I do that, this one is at a 70 degree angle, this is at a 40 degree angle, so this has a greater y velocity component, so it's going to go higher. It's going to be in the air for a longer time. Now you may say, but what if? What if it doesn't go as fast? Will it go as high? Let's just, let's just, try, let's just change it, right? I can change this. That's the great thing about Python. Um, let's change this to 6 meters per second and run it. Which one got there first? Well, it was close, but this one's higher, so this one got there first. Um, let's change this to something crazy like one well, nine even will be. And you notice that it goes a lot further, but it's still in the air for a longer time. The higher it is, the longer it is in the air. So there you go. Now there, there is, I will tell you, there is one way that these can hit there at the same time and go different heights. No. Yes. That is true. You can make them hit at the same time. No. 
That's not true. I take that back. I was thinking about have them reach at the same point in different times. You can do that. Okay. So, but there you go. You can play around with this code. I'll, I'll link it in the video, and that is that. Oh, and this is 3D2. You can rotate around. The end.